Hey, it's Derek with Millwright. I want to show you guys how to set the drivers on the uh, driver shield. All right, these purple boards here are the drivers. This is the driver shield, and that blue board underneath there is the Uno. One mistake I've seen pop up is people want to plug in this barrel connector here into the blue Uno board. Don't do that. You need to use the screw terminal here and attach it to the adapter here. All right, so all you're going to do to set the voltage on the purple drivers, which are then in turn going to set the current to the stepper motors, is you're going to have the board connected and you don't have to have a connection actually open to the UNO board, but you do have to have it plugged into the USB. All right, then you're gonna plug it up with your barrel adapter. You're gonna take your black lead and you're going to put it right here on the negative screw terminal. Your multimeter here, and I got just a cheapo multimeter, needs to be set to two volts DC. It might say 2000, it might say uh, a couple of different things. You really need to look at your specific multimeter. This is just a cheapo one that serves the purpose. So I'm holding my black lead against the negative terminal or the ground terminal uh, of the red board and then I'm just very carefully going to place my screw driver onto the potentiometer screw and I'm going to turn clockwise to adjust the board. Now on the Car King you're shooting for 0.65 volts on the M3 you're shooting for 0.6 volts doesn't have to be exact but you want to be close it's a really small adjustment that's required. So you see I'm using the screwdriver, just barely turning it, and I got the 0.656 volts. And I'm actually happy with that. That, that uh, last digit there is not gonna matter much. All right, then moving on to the next one. I like to use my screw, both hands to support the screwdriver as it moves on to the potentiometer screw. That way I'm not poking something that I shouldn't and shorten leads out. So using both hands to get it there. And I'm back on the, uh, the ground terminal with my black lead. And I'm just going to turn clockwise slowly looking for my 0.65 volts. A little under. And I'll come back, yep, there we go, 0 0.651 volts, that's going to be fine. You'll just do the other two the exact same way, and that's going to have you set up. Be really careful with the placement of your leads, though. You see how small these terminals are. If you were to stick it in there, say, off the potentiometer screw, you're going to short something out, and it's not going to work anymore. So let me show you something that's going to help you through this process. You see on my red lead I've got a screwdriver alligator clip to it. If you're just trying to take a screwdriver and turn these and then check with your lead it's going to take you a long time. You can find these for like a dollar at Walmart or similar places. Pick one up it'll make your life easier. Let me some comments let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks.